This was a beautiful launch, and we are all very excited about the launch. But remember, this is a, this is a six-month mission, um, and it's the first of many. And I will tell you that um, you know, we use the word operational. Make no mistake, when you're flying into space, it is always, um, there's always risk and we will always be diligent. Um, and we have all the confidence in the world in SpaceX and in the NASA team, in our partners, in our international partners, FAA, um, and of course Boeing upcoming, which is gonna be exciting. SpaceX had its second launch ever on Sunday night with a four astronaut crew containing three Americans and one Japanese headed to the International Space Station. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, The Falcon rocket launched at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The 27-and-a-half-hour flight to the space station has the crew reaching their destination late Monday night. The crew will be in space for six months before returning to Earth. With a year full of challenges, the Crew Dragon spacecraft was named Resilience by the crew. By working together through these difficult times, you've inspired the nation, the world, and in no small part, the name of this incredible vehicle, Resilience, Commander Mike Hopkins said right before the liftoff. After the nine minutes, the crew reached orbit and Hopkins radioed, that was one heck of a ride. Elon Musk, the founder and chief executive of SpaceX, was forced to watch virtually due to a positive test for COVID-19. Vice President Mike Pence is the chairman of the National Space Council and watched the launch with NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein. The first SpaceX launch was just a few months ago in a two-pilot test flight. NASA and the private company by Musk are working together in what is expected to be a long series of crew rotations between the U.S. and the space station. With more science and research that will be done in space, the NASA goal remains to put humans on Mars around the year 2030.